Hey, what's good YouTube? It's Cole the Man. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Now today, I'm going to be showing you guys this new little dribble move. Well, it's not really new. It's been out, but it's kind of a remix um, for the one that I put up earlier in the year, the momentum crossover into the behind the back. That was Elite 6 behind the back. Now I'm going to be showing you guys a new behind the back. As you can see, you can get crazy ankle breakers off this move, and you definitely got to use this. It's very effective. It creates a lot of space and, uh, you know, just opportunities for easy buckets. Now, um, today I'm going to be showing you guys this move, but before I start the video, let's try to get this video to 2,000 likes. So let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to drop more dribble tutorials, and if you guys leave a like, that's let me know that you guys want to see me drop more of these, all right? So go ahead and leave a like. Let's try to get the 2,000 likes on this video. So now, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to be showing you guys the signature styles you need in order to pull off this move. So you're going to want to go to dribble moves, NBA dribble moves. And uh, first of all, you got to buy it. But you're going to want to have Elite 2 ISO crossover and ISO behind the back normal 4. Now, earlier in the year, I did use Elite 6. But now I think normal 4 is better. It creates a ton of space. And I think you get more ankle breakers off this move. So pretty much it does create a lot of space. And, um, you know, if you have ankle breaker on Hall of Fame, GG, bro. You're breaking a ton of ankles. I only have it on gold because I didn't feel like maxing it out. But, uh, yeah, so if you have it on Hall of Fame, it's a GG, all right? But anyways, now I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this move in the park. So this is what it looks like regular speed with the hand cam. Look how quick that is. Now I'm going to slow it down for you guys and show you how to do this. So this clip right here, I'm going to slow it down, show you guys exactly what I'm doing. I'm doing the momentum crossover into the behind the back. So first, I'm going to show you guys how to do the momentum crossover. So now I'm going to break this down, show you guys how to do the momentum crossover. So the ball is in my right hand. So to do the momentum crossover, what you're going to want to do is flick the right stick to the left. And as soon as you flick it to the left, you're going to want to hold turbo and continue going in the same direction to the left. And that's what that animation looks like right there with the controller. So next, what you're going to want to do is the behind the back. And all you got to do is flick the right stick directly down. And as soon as you flick it down, you're going to want to continue to hold turbo and hold the left stick to the right because that's the direction you want to go in. So that's what that looks like right there. So that's pretty much how you do it. I try to slow it down and break it down for you guys. So as you can see, this move creates a ton of space. I think it'd be really good for shot creators because, you know, you can just shoot straight off the dribble. But uh, yeah, like I said, it creates a lot of space. And if you have Ankle Breaker Hall of Fame, bro, you're going to be getting so many ankle breakers. But yeah, anyways, if you guys do want me to drop more tutorials like this, let me know by leaving a like and a comment telling me you want me to see more of these uh, dribble tutorials. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today. Let's try to get 2,000 likes. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and join the culture. I'm going to catch y'all next time. I'm out.